Let's go shopping. Mr. H.C. Harrod's grocery shop at Knightsbridge. Recognize it? Well, that's over a hundred years ago. You'll know it like this. Telegraphic address, Harrods, everything, London. The most interesting and beautiful store in the whole of Britain and one of the most famous in the world. A busy store in a busy city. Long established with its tradition of courtesy and service and right up to the minute in merchandise. I do a great deal of my shopping here. Do come in and help. Harrods is much more than the greatest departmental store in the United Kingdom. Its services to the public embrace an almost endless range of activities. The food halls, for example, are a gathering ground for delicious eatables from all over the world. Here, like shops within a shop, you'll find butcher, baker, grocer, confectioner, and every other kind of food supplier equally ready to provide you with the daily loaf or exotic party delicacies. Anything, in fact, from caviar to coffee, truffles to tea. Ah, oh, yes, tea. Tea! Right! No, that's not the way. This is how to make good tea. Just take one tepsy tea bag and drop it into the pot. Pour on the boiling water. On with the lid. And leave the tea to infuse in the usual way. Just look at the trouble you save. No wasteful measuring. No strainer and no messy sink. The bags themselves are absolutely tasteless, and what's more, you can drink every drop because there are no dregs. I find that one bag will make two to four cups of tea. And if I want an extra strong pot, I just stir gently with a spoon. Anything be more simple or convenient than that. Now here's a real cup of tea with a good full flavor. You saw how easily I made it, didn't you? With Tetley's tea bags. Harrods built the first moving staircase in England. It ran for some 40 feet up a gradual slope between the ground and first floors and consisted simply of a conveyor belt between two handrails. The operation is simplicity itself. The traveler puts his feet on a moving staircase, his hand on the rail, and is wafted by imperceptible motion to the place where he should be. So said the Daily Chronicle in 1898, and Harrods, as ever mindful of their customers, had stationed an attendant at the top with free doses of sal volatile and brandy. No brandy now at the top, Miss Allen wine department on the ground floor, and in it you'll find that no effort has been spared to obtain a wonderful selection of young and matured wines for every taste, for every occasion. And a wide range of liqueurs and spirits. Thanks to skillful buying on the part of Harrods... Can I help you, madam? Yes, a bottle of Martell's three-star brandy, please. Brandy is a wonderful restorative in an emergency, but you don't need an emergency to enjoy Martell. But better still, Try Martell Three Star as a long drink. You can add soda to it. Go on, right up to the top. Or, if you prefer, ginger ale. Either way, you'll be rewarded with a long drink which will not only satisfy, but invigorate you as well. 
And so you have the benefits of a short drink with the advantage of a lung. Don't forget, the secret of a long drink is a little brandy with a lot of soda or ginger ale. Your friends will love it and you'll make friends with Martell. And Harrods naturally carry a full stock of Martell three-star brandy in full and half bottles. You'll find them on the second floor, madam, in the household hardware section. There they are, Beck's housewares. This is the Beck's cake box. Keeps the cake wonderfully fresh. The transparent body shows you at a glance exactly how much there is in it. It costs 12 and sixpence, and there's a choice of colored lids. Yes, they're very attractive, aren't they? It's the same with these Beck's storage containers. They keep your stock clean, and there's no need to remove the lids to see if supplies are getting low. They come in several sizes. This one, one pound, costs three and sixpence or for a set of three, ten and sixpence. Incidentally, aren't the lids attractive? They're made in the favorite kitchen colors. Tell me, are Beck's housewares easy to clean? Simplicity itself, it's one of the main advantages. No hard to clean corners. And do they stand up to hard wear? Once you buy Beck's housewares, you've got them for years. Beck's housewares are made of strong, hygienic materials that can't chip or rust. Those that come in for particularly hard wear are made from flexible material, which is unbreakable and unaffected by boiling water. Take this washing up bowl, for example. You can drop the Beck's bowl in the kitchen sink and you won't harm it. Now that's the sort of bowl that's kind to crockery, delicate china. It's like a cushion to them. There are several bowls to choose from. They vary in price depending on size and shape. You can get them from five and 11 pence, 17 and six pence. And then there's the Beck's bucket. Like the bowl, it's almost impossible to wear it out. It costs 17 and six pence. And the snug fitting lid is three and sixpence extra. So for 21 shillings, you've got an easy to clean pail without the clang and clatter of a metal one. <laughs> of course, these are only a few of the useful Beck's housewares. There are many others. Most Beck's housewares have got the Good Housekeeping Institute guarantee, which as you know, is the recognized seal of quality and service. Don't forget the name. Bex.